Hi guys. Okay, so we're gonna bring in codes for the throat chakra. For some reason, well, it's a very beautiful stone, but I couldn't find the write-up for what this is. It's an aqua color with gray and just tons of sparkles in it. And I remember it was, um, I believe, to tap into higher realms, I think. Anyway, um, I'm being drawn for the throat chakra, so we're going to use this one and I'll, I'll try and find what it is and then put it in the comments below. I just couldn't find it. I found a blue appetite, but I, I'm pretty sure that's what this one was. And I got this one when I got this one, which I also can't remember the name for, but it's good for Akashic Records. It's kind of a cool one. It's like a rock with little tiny crystal on it. Anyway, this one's very cool. So we'll bring in the light codes. Um, when I was tapping in before I started, I was feeling like I was, it was, what was it, premature was the word that was coming to mind. Like it was um, premature, but then after I got up and then I came back and this was sparkling very bright at me. So I don't know if it was that I needed that because I don't feel that energy of premature anymore. So we'll just tap in. So you can just say that you'd like codes um, for your highest good at this time. We're bringing it in for the throat chakra. And just breathe into your heart. I'm just going to ask that our soul stars be activated at this time by going through the heart. Soul star chakra is about a half a foot to a foot above your head. It's usually about a magenta color, but people have seen other colors. So always trust what you see and, and never question why you see it. And it doesn't matter. We don't, not one person is right. We're all right. Breathe into the heart. You'll be hearing my kids playing. I'm just gonna bring the mic a little closer. So I'll get louder. And breathe. Just expand the throat if you can. Just even like weird sensations. Like it almost feels like uh, what they're doing. Like like um, I don't even know what to do with what that feeling is. Um, I would see like a weightlifter kind of like where they like that kind of that's what it feels like they're doing to my throat Cons not constraining it at all but flexing it so if you know how to do that and if you do breathe into the throat it kind of does that so you're just wanting to flex it i believe One more time. So I felt that activation go right through to like my angel wing area of my back. ボシナマカティロコトコタナマカタイセナモシカテカテカトコトコタナマカタエコトコトコタナマカタエコトコトコタナマカタエコトコトコタナマカタエコトコトコタナマカタエコトコトコタナマカタエコトコトコタナマカ
So they're pushing on that, like massaging it. I'm going in a counterclockwise direction. And now they're holding that Adam's apple area. So I don't know if this is for feminines and this is for masculines or if they're wanting both being done right now. So start there. And then they're wanting this done on the Adam's apple area. Or is that the esophagus? Or is the esophagus down here and up? Anyway, whatever this throat straw area would be. So they're pushing in on it. You always want to be gentle, not too strong. You're just having pressure. You're not trying to um, obstruct anything. Or So they're also wanting stretching coming up. Now they're showing relation to the ears. So a lot of, um, which makes sense, a lot of our senses are just everything to do with our face, you know. And so the throat is very affected. I don't know why my camera is just unfocusing the last couple of days a lot. So, um... You're just going to have to deal with me in dream pose. So anyway, when we're focusing on this, um, when you're focusing on this area, our ears, our eyes, so when we're, um, our outer environment and everything, it's going to affect our throat. And, you know, a lot of this can affect our sight as well. You know, what we're putting into our mouth, um, you know, uh, drops in the eyes and um, saline sprays and stuff. You know, you definitely want to be careful with what, um, with what saline sprays you're using and where you're getting things that you're putting into your mouth, putting into your eyes, medicines and that, ear drops and stuff. If you're having ear issues, high grade um, olive oil is really good for that. So, it's almost like it's blurred vision, you know? So, but there, there is a relation to your ears. So if your ears, like my ears have been like, very very high and very active and um yeah i don't oh isn't that weird i don't know anyway it's again with everything is so related and it just settles down almost like gravity everything is affected and it just seems to reside in our throat so also if you're if you're seeing something you need to express if you're tasting something you need to express if you're hearing something that you need to express and it's not so much that you need to vocalize it as pay attention to it. You know, um, certain times I'll get like a toothache and then I'll have to evaluate why that has come back. And when I do so, I'll recognize it and the toothache will go away again. It's really wild. And so if you're having blurred eyes, if you're having, um, Nasal congestion. See, as soon as I said that, it cleared up, right? As soon as you recognize symptoms, because blurred eyes is a symptom. It really is. So if you're having like troubles with your eyes or, you know, they're strained for some reason, look these things up and, you know, look up a few things because, you know, an excuse for everything will be like, oh, it could be cancer. Like that, that will be listed on almost everything you look up for medical. Could be this, go see your doctor. And it's not, especially when it's spirit talking to you and coming through to you and trying to explain why you're um, experiencing certain things. And we always think that the throat chakra is closing up because we need to vocalize something. But what they're saying is like, 
No, it can be other things in this personity that is causing your throat to close up. It's causing your throat to be strained. So it's very interesting. So she's saying it's very important to give attention to your your um your sensories on your face as well. You know, the skin is an organ, but we've also got these organs too. So when you're clean, clearing your chakras, clear these organs as well. And you can do that internally with your, your heart, your livers, your, your livers, your kidneys and um, your spleen. And, um, you know, even like doing uh, spinal, spinal work too. And just by giving it attention, um, um, clears it. And um, not to have worry about it or, oh, I need to go to the eye doctor or something like that. It's more of investigating as why you're having it, why you're experiencing it. Sometimes it can be with the advice, devices too, you know, and there's on the newer devices, you you do have options to, um, I can't remember what it's called, but it, it, it does some kind of protective filter over the black light, I believe. So, so symptoms are such, such a... An intriguing insight for you to understand. So what she's saying is spirit is talking to you through symptoms as well, right? So irritable bowel syndrome and stuff is often teaching you that certain foods that you're choosing. And sometimes we could even be on a gluten diet and there's certain gluten-free products that are worse for you than gluten products. Um, unless you actually have a, an allergy to gluten. So a lot of those products, just because they're gluten, gluten free, you should look at the additives that are in there. Those additives might be causing this disruption and not gluten at all. Uh, gluten's not good, don't get me wrong, but um, a lot of people are more susceptible. Uh, no, I'm not gonna use that word, I can't find it. Um, more susceptible susceptible, no, I can't get it, are more stronger and lesser to those um, products than other people. Um, other people, you know, you know, their teeth can't handle candy and other people, their teeth are fine with candy. It's different for all of us and that's why it's so important that we tap into what our sensories are trying to tell us at this time. So my throat is feeling a lot better by understanding that it's not just through my voice or expressing my truth as much as understanding what my other sensories are on a more telepathic frequency trying to tell me through causing issues in my throat. So it's it's interesting. I've never heard that before. Pains in the body, wherever you have pains in your body, right? We are taught to sit with that pain, go into that pain, but there's more sim sim symptomatic um, messages there for you. So if there's a persistent pain in your breast, you know, some people will avoid it because again with the cancer, right? It's like you don't you don't want to know that you possibly could have that, therefore you don't go looking for it. But if you already know that you're probably going to see that word when you're looking at medical stuff, that you just don't fear that. You know, you just don't. You just say, "No, that's that's not what my body is trying to tell me right now." And if the other symptoms aren't there, then you go check it out. If you have worry of something in your body, go get it checked out. If you don't, if you understand it's spirit trying to talk to you through your other sensories, 
to open up an expression or fear of um, investigation of the body. This is being thrown in the short or in the throat too. So yeah, some people might have a cyst on the hand, and and you know usually you have to get an operation to to remove it. But um, I knew a guy. He used to get these big big things, and sometimes they would pop or explode. But then he'd be good for like a year or so, and um, it was painful when it did pop. But they would grow quite big, and the vein would go over it and stuff. It was really wild. So, but when you read it up, it says you have to have surgery. And um, and I just had a friend um, speak of, I think it was called Gray's disease. I'm not sure, but it's in the throat. And um, he did a three-day fast and he went to the doctor after and before that, before it was still there, after the three-day fast, he's also very good at um, what he's digesting and working out as well so keep that in mind but it's it's gone and um, and as far as he knows he only knows that you need to get it surgically removed so what we're able to heal in our bodies right now is really cool and even the fact of cancer we have cured cancer with our brains we really have, and that's why we don't fear the pains that are in our body. I used to have pains in my body, random pains all the time, and I don't anymore. I used to, you know, if I slept funny, I'd get an ache in my neck, in my back, in this, and, you know, I don't experience these things anymore. Um, but sometimes, like, I'll be like, oh, my, my neck is wonky, and then I'll, like, investigate as to to why that could be and Louise Hayes she's got a great glossary of body parts and stuff and yeah a lot of them do resonate with me and dream interpretations too those resonate with me a lot and people will be like oh it's not a dream it's like no but where you find things that resonate with you you'll be surprised so she's saying even like through crystals, right? Because crystals will speak to you. You can also put intentions on the crystal. So if you're having, you know, maybe you're having trouble breathing, You've noticed a shallowness in your breath, you know? Just allow this crystal to be your doctor for a moment. Okay, deep breathe. Hold. Exhale. Again. You know, it's like a tethoscope, tethoscope. And, um, and while you're doing it, you're having that time being given to you. It's not that the doctor is there. It's that this is assisting you to be the doctor because nobody knows your breathing like you. Nobody knows your pain like you. You can look up cyst or symptoms for a heart attack and all that stuff. And maybe you're having issues with your heart and you're not understanding why. And uh, yeah, these symptoms are, I don't know, I guess that's the closest thing to what's happening to me. No, get to know, you know, you know. The worry, the doubt, that sets the doubt of you understanding what's going on to you. You know? You know, so this crystal right now is saying my breath is good because I did. I felt like my asthma was returning for some reason and I couldn't understand why. And I was understanding that there was a memory coming up for me that I was I was just needing to sit with. And sometimes we have fears of diseases and stuff returning, you know, same, same with asthma. I had a fear of that returning, right? And, um, and then you think, oh, is it caused by this, this, and this? And the, all those worries come in. And at the end of the day, it's actually just 
a fear of having something return. And at the end of the day, if you dealt with it before, you can deal with it again. Maybe it's not the ideal, but facing that fear and acceptance of whatever's on your path coming forward or back to you, um, understand that it's doing so for a reason. And usually the fear and pushing these things away and saying, no, I can't deal with that. If it comes back, I won't be able to deal with that. Um, Spirit's saying, you know what? Yes, you will. So stop pushing it away. Sit with it. Have acceptance for it. And it will alleviate. It will disappear. We're helping you push through your fears right now. So we're just going to do that breathing in the throat again. The flexing. And these are almost like distractions as well. So we can put different things in. And we'll have different awareness of different stones and crystals. Black obsidian is very protective. And um, sometimes we need that feeling of protection, especially in our expression. If it's through words or body language, our throat is our expression. So, you know, it expresses our whole body system. It's a vocal point, right? It's a focus point. Or focal, vocal, right? There's something there. And obsidian is so cooling. It's very soothing and in um so sodalite is a true stone. I always have sodalite in my quantum sessions on the throat chakra. Sometimes we're afraid to speak our truth. Sometimes we're afraid that we don't know our truth and therefore we hold back or we suppress what we feel at this point. But what, you know, I do on this channel is I just express whatever I feel like today and it's either going to resonate tomorrow or by expressing it, it's going to push me forward in a new perception or, or truth. I'm always seeking a new truth. Um, I think the more I broaden my truth spectrum, the more I have acceptance for other people's truth and more understanding. So just by holding truth on there and just, you know, comforting the truth that you have within you. And it's okay to speak your truth today and have a different perception tomorrow. Because a lot of us are channelers and sometimes what we express to people, that person needs to hear. And, um, you know, I've received a lot of messages from people, strangers even. They'll say something so strange and they don't even know what they're saying because it has different meaning to me. And spirit delivers messages through so many things like they were saying, blurry eyes and stuff are spirit too and your impression of what that might mean or what it does mean for you may be different from everybody on the planet. And that's why it's important that you start understanding what your guidance is trying to show you and be okay with being different. So yeah, she's wanting us to expand our belief. Um, you know, our belief, what we believe we see, we truly see. The more we believe, 
the more the more understanding and acceptance we can have for broadening that belief and when we broaden we will always go back to a base after and then we'll broaden again it's always going back to basics of your core belief and then you expand it again to probabilities and um, we go through this quite a few times a year I want to say if you're into it you can expand many times in one year and um, and you're still the same person you know you're just experiencing different avenues and um, you know if you if you see your gifts um, and you're a novice and you're going to a beginner and then an intermediate and um, advanced you need to go in these different aspects within a level you know you you need to learn how to see hear express in this direction of um, out of your comfort zone and then do it here where you have another um, comfort zone or un uncomfortable feeling of expressing maybe you're fine expressing with your friends and family but when it comes to a platform or speaking in front of a school or something like that that's petrifying so you do it first in your in your least uncomfortable place to express and see how it feels and then when you get more confidence then you expand over here doing the same things but through a different different experience and then that will broaden your belief and then over here you're going to do that again with something that you were thinking you'd like to experience even though it may not be on my path I kind of think that I'll learn in this direction as well you do that and then that's your novice experience and then you bring it back to self to a core belief and then you level up to intermediate and you do that again you know treading through the waters of comfortability and getting out of your comfort zone at the same time always knowing that you're coming back to your core you're just having experiences right and through these are we're learning the expression through the experience that's where we get our wisdom you know books and everything are awesome but we need to experience ourself our soul's expression is needed at this time so I have um, raw tiger eye. It's a very good grounding stone. So this is feeling like confidence right now. So So there's so many parts and aspects of your expression that don't actually um, vibrate vocally out. It's not... Okay. So it is felt through this part of your throat chakra, this tube that's connected pretty much like through the line of your throat chakra or through the line of your chakra system. So just understand when you're experiencing self-expression, it's actually just, you know, you're harnessing it from every direction, not to mention these um, organs 
Um, these are also compromising this area of expression. And we know that when we're putting poison into our body, we're compromising different aspects of ourselves. Um, you know, certain, so yeah, and yeah, if you can get high grade olive oil, put drops in your ears, this will clear out a lot of junk in your ears as well as it will just nourish them. It's good for um, uh, waxy ears as well as dry ears. And you'll, you know, put a couple drops in it and squishy, squishy, and then if you wanna just take a swab to get the excess out, then you can. You don't have to do it all the time, but if you are experiencing pressure or excessive anything, then um, do it. And you can do it like once a year, like do it for like um, three to seven days in a row. And that should be like a treatment for the ears. Also with the saline, you can do like saline, um, like uh, Himalayan salt sprays. So you can just put Himalayan salt in a water and spray it and breathe it in. You can also do it with your, like a mist, um, you know, cause in the bath too, you can put these salts in the bath and just you're breathing in that steam. It's very good. Um, to do that also saline it just it's very very good again be careful what olive oils are using as well as what salt you're using there is being shown eyes so for some of you if you wear eye contacts um, look it up for like holistic healing eye solution care um, and look up what they're saying that is not in their product because that's a good indication of what's bad for your eyes um, is when a product because I just got this um, oral hygiene uh, what is it called doctor it's either MD oral or doctor oral I think it's MD oral and it's like a peppermint um, essential oil drops but you brush your teeth with them or you gargle with them it's really good so but they had an advertisement actually I probably have it um, they had an advertisement oct or aura MD so but they had this advertisement here so do you see that wax pure unwaxed floss so when you see that, you understand that there's a problem with wax on floss, okay? So these are good indications of, uh, of oh, well, I floss my teeth all the time. There's wax on them, you know? It's the same with the apples. There's a lot of wax. Yes, it's food grade, um, but it's a lot of wax. Sometimes you, you can take a knife, just gently go on the apple. You'll see like white. It looks like a candle coming off of your um, apple. So when they have this wax on them, which make good apples, like a lot of the apples, I will buy those versus the organics because there's something weird with um, some of the organics and I just peel off the skin. And um, so use your judgment when you're you're choosing things. So yeah, when you're just brushing, sweeping your energy, you can also sweep it um, into salt water too. Um, there is like a lot of, I would be bathing too if you're wanting to cleanse, if you're having blue or blurry eyes or um, nasal congestion, um, pressure or pain in the ears understand this is all going to be affecting your self-expression and it's all going to be um, affecting your your belief and strength in your belief okay and your confidence and belief okay you guys um, have a wonderful day or night. Talk to you later.